Welcome to this video, celebrating 50 successful years of Merseyrail. This short video is just a glimpse of what's to come in a new book, see the end of the video for details. Back in 1971, the local electrified railways of Merseyside were grouped together and rebranded Merseyrail. The name first appearing on the Wirral Line trains, accompanied by a cartoon Happy Train logo. The origins of this rebrand date back to the 1968 Transport Act. This created local passenger transport executives, Merseyside being one of them. In 1971 the local management of Merseyside's railways came up with the name Merseyrail. Earlier the Merseyside Area Land and Transport Studies report, recommended the building the long-proposed Mersey Railway Terminal Loop, together with a north-south link. This was to become the heart of the new Merseyrail system. Detailed plans were then drawn up. With contracts signed, work soon commenced in digging out the tunnels and new stations. Meanwhile the rest of the system carried on as normal. The 1930s designed 502-503 trains performing their usual duties. To facilitate the rebuilding of Central Station the Wirral Line trains were to temporarily run from James Street. Whilst Exchange on the other hand, continued to operate throughout. By 1977 the works were complete and the new lines were opened, although this meant the closure of Liverpool Exchange. At first the 1930s trains operated the lines, but by late 1977 the first of a brand new fleet of trains, the Class 507s were entering service. 1980 saw the very last service of the Northern Line only, Class 502s, luckily one of these old Southport sets was to be preserved. The Northern Lines were then operated by the new 507s. Despite the recession of the 80s the Merseyrail lines held up well, and extensions to the lines continued to be authorised. The first being from Garston to Hunts Cross in 1983. By 1985 the last of the Wirral 503s were replaced by the Class 508s. Although not exactly new, they always were meant to operate on Merseyside. The next major step was the extension to Hooton. Followed by Chester in 1993 and Ellesmere Port in 1994. As well as extensions, new stations were also added to the network, such as Conway Park, Bromborough Rake, and Eastham Rake on the Wirral lines. Brunswick, Liverpool South Parkway, and Magull North on the Northern lines. Existing stations have also been upgraded, such as Oriel Road, Old Roan, Sandhills and Ainsdale. All the underground stations have also been refurbished to a bright modern standard. The reliable class 507 and 8s have also moved with the times, with a new Mersey travel inspired livery in the late 90s. This led to a complete fleet refurbishment and the silver tiger stripe livery, and now the current best impressions livery. Soon to be introduced will be the brand new class treble 7s bringing Mersey Rail right up to date. With spacious interiors, coupled with step-free access, these state-of-the-art trains are designed wholly for the Merseyrail network. The 50 years of Merseyrail have been one of investment and innovation, and have given the people of Merseyside a railway system they can be proud of. Coming soon, is a commemorative booklet by the 502 Preservation Trust, to celebrate the innovation and progress of 50 years of the Merseyrail network. Details of where you can buy this fully illustrated book, will be in the description and comments section of this video as soon as the book is published. And also on the Class 502 website. www.class502.org.uk